Hello everybody, welcome to the studio. Today on the program we're going to talk about these walls, how I built them and why I built them the way I built them and what kind of performance they give me now that I have built them. So everything from the drywall, the resilient channel, the air in between, the windows and glass, let's run through all of that good stuff. So my goal for this project was to be able to sit here and be able to get sounds in here and from a drum kit out there and amplifiers, there's isolation rooms on each side of this control room, out through this door there's one. And I wanted to be able to sit here, get sounds from all that stuff here without having to wear headphones through these monitors and be able to do that. So. Getting a room soundproof is really, really difficult. We'll just say that right off the bat. There's lots of ways to do it, lots of things you can do, and there's lots of opinions about the best way to do it. So this is how I chose to do it. I did cut some corners. The project was going long. I was doing a lot of the work through the whole thing. It's really hard to find good skilled labor to do a lot of this stuff. So I really took over after the drywall finishing and did all of the... Uh, you know, the windows and doors and trims and everything, uh, getting all this set to go. So naturally I was exhausted and some things weren't done. Corners were cut, whatever you want to call it. But what we have as an end result, so, you know, this is a very real world scenario. If you want to see what a normal person ends up when they follow all the advice they find on the internet and, you know, come up with their own, their, their solution and, and put it in play, I have about a 35 to 40 decibel reduction in uh, what's out there to what's in here. I've measured this with my good old trusty Radio Shack sound level meter. Now this thing is not as impressive to film because it only goes down to 60 and in here in this room. Another uh, feature was that I wanted this room to be very quiet. Out there, it's a lot bigger room, much harder to get soundproof and much more costly and all that. So I decided let's decouple this room in here and have it be the quietest room. And it's big enough to get all the stuff that I need to do uh, done. You know, and it works, serves the purpose well. Out there, it's louder things, drums and amps and things that, that don't require such extreme silence. So that's why I did it this way. And like I said, I'm getting 35 to 40 decibels reduction. I went ahead and did that same test with the iPhone meter so it would be cooler to film and would make more of it. You'd see the bottom too. So as you can see sitting in this chair, we hover around like, you know, uh, 30, 35, 40, 35, 30, 35 uh, decibels sitting in here listening to nothing like this. So let's fire up the music. I'm sure you can hear that faintly in the other room. And so if you want to see how loud is that, let's go through some doors. This door is not sealed at all. You can see? stop that music and that's the situation so out here it is pretty 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 it's loud um, this is turned up a pretty good deal there's a lot of bass coming through there and as you can hear I'm talking pretty loud <laughs> That's what we're dealing with out here. In there, let's go have a listen again. So again, you can hear it in here, sure. Like I said, my doors aren't sealed. I'll tell you about the windows in a minute. But what it is good enough is to... So yeah, you can totally sit here, goal accomplished. You can get your sounds that you want to get sitting right here from all the stuff out there and not have to fool with headphones. You can have other people in here. They can hear it too. It's much easier. It's a nice way to go. And this room is dead quiet. So let's talk about the glass. The windows and the walls, well, I can kind of back up. 
you might have seen me go through the wall through the door and you can see I have exterior doors that's how I got my thing pulled off um, exterior doors from Lowe's they come with the frames and all that stuff so that kind of makes it pretty easy and they're solid and one piece they're not hollow so I haven't really finished the insides of these uh, these door frames so that works out good for this maybe we'll be able to get a good look down in here so as I said this in on this side this is decoupled from this this is the outer and this is the inner you can see there's a subfloor here and down right there, that's one of the 303 RLX U-boats, little rubber pucks that these sit on. So this floor, you know, is right there. This floor, that's down, that's on the concrete. So that's our wall, what it looks like. So from inside to out, what we have is drywall. We have a half inch layer, a five inch, inch layer. I didn't put green glue in between them, uh, just because cost and time and you know, I decided oh, I'm not going that crazy um, And it was lots of reasons and so then we have a resilient channel hanger uh, Getting our drywall off of our studs on the inside Then we have studs and insulation three inches of air studs and insulation No resilient channel here just straight on with the drywall with five eighths and then a half inch And That's how our walls are done when it comes to the windows the windows were a lot of work, oh my goodness. Every single pane and every side of each pane is a different dimension from every other one. They each have their own perfect dimension. And so each pane is 3 8 inch thick. I might have done better sound isolation. I didn't know in time by using two different thicknesses, but oh well. So I have two panels, two panes of 3 8 inch on each, one on each side. They are, uh, pulled off they're inset um, so outside of the uh, of the glass between the glass and the and the studs you have uh, a little rubber quarter inch gasket kind of a thing it's like weather stripping and that goes all the way around the windows and so on the inside one you have that and the whole thing is sealed with green glue on the outside one I chose not to do that so that I could if I needed to someday take this quarter round off and get the window out of there and maybe clean all up inside there or whatever might need to happen if it wasn't enough I could have gone back and put the green glue on there and so but as it worked out for me it was enough and I didn't have to go back and put the green glue in there um, and so only other things uh, that I'm leaving out, I guess, up on top, we have a lot of blown-in insulation on top of this. Uh, the, in the walls is normal R19 or whatever insulation. Um, I put all that stuff in. There's four lights up here, and they're totally covered with that insulation. And um, really, I can't think of much anything else that there is to it. You know, like I said, there's so much chatter, and there's everyone has an opinion, especially on the Internet, about oh, don't do that, or oh, you got to do this, and, you know, it's it's true, you know, you're, you're only going to be as soundproof as your weakest spot, so you really are going to go all the way to the very end and do the ultimate ultimate, or you're kind of going to kind of do what I did. You're going to do enough of the things in a good enough of a way to make sure that what you need to have done gets done, and so... I did that, that seemed to work out okay for me, and I can sit here, dial in my sounds, and I do have a quiet room, so it all worked out. Um, and that's about the end of the story for the construction of the walls in this studio. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, drop them below, hit the subscribe thing, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.